gentlemen. How is everybody? Super. Don't care. Let's get into it, Rico. We got a defense. <clears throat> That's my headline today. Um, we'll get to the Tigers at some point, but what's the purpose? They're a mortal lock to make the playoffs. We've been beating up on fan, fan graphs. The Rico graph has been the true barometer. Yeah, I like the new uh, updated number. 97.1%. <laughs> it would take an act of God for you to miss the playoffs. But we'll get to it. Lions, I don't know. The only takeaway for me was back to basics. Run the football, 200 on the ground. We're not going to have Jared Goff turn into, you know, Air Coreal. And defensively, punts or wins. I thought the defense made Kyler Murray look stupid in the second half. No? They, no, they did. The defense really corralled him, Mike, because I was expecting you know, the whole mobile QB, he's going to break plays. No, he you contained him. I mean, he had a couple spots, but other than that, and especially in the second half, they got three. Everybody's going to say, well, the Lions didn't score. They scored three points, okay? You held them to three. It's back-to-back -back weeks. Your defense has dominated high-powered offenses. And I think that's the headline because long-term, I don't have any doubts about the offense. I don't like what I'm hearing with Laporta. Uh, if you're asking me, I'm not a doctor, but a high ankle sprain. I'm not playing through that because that'll linger all year. I think you you shut him down if it's a true high. Yeah, I think you shut him down for a month. And we got to go play. Like, I need Sam Laporta right for December and January mm -hmm. and February. Mm -hmm. I, I just, the defense is what you needed right? You needed it in San Francisco and it wasn't there for you. Rico, that, I'm not turning the bucks and cards into, you know, the, the, the peak Niners when they're healthy. It's just, I'm very encouraged. Now, now again, here's my surprise face. Oft injured player is injured. Marcus Davenport <laughs> with, you know, a brutally you know, a serious elbow. You issue. were hoping you can get to at least week six. It didn't happen that way. Now, even Terry on Arnold got picked on early. And as I told people, he's going to be good, but yeah, he's a rookie, and he's going to get those rookie calls. And by that, that means they're going to call him for every little ticky-tack thing, play through it, go back out there, don't get frustrated. And then later on in the game, he had a couple – they had him up against Marvin Harrison Jr., and, and he made the stops. Harrison didn't catch the ball. Lions defense looks aggressive. They look athletically superior to last year's unit. And – Young players have a right to get better, right? So I'm with you. I, I just would like to know where you guys are yeah. at. Look, every game is not going to be a work of art and a 42-3 to destruction. I take yesterday in today's NFL, that's an A-plus win. You went on the road as a field goal favorite and largely dominated the team you faced. Wow. After that first drive, what did Arizona really do on offense all day? Not much. No, Bo Diddley. Not much. And you lined up physical first time since that Rams overtime. Did you feel, hey, line of scrimmage is moving? O line played their best game. Agree? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think the epitome of that, Mike, is, is picking up Montgomery and carrying him five yards. <laughs> like, literally. Like, 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 like he was at a Jewish wedding. Like, where are we going with him? He's just, okay. And there he is, five yards later. No, it, it, it so, and, and again, if you want to quibble about stuff, I'm good with it. When you're a Super Bowl type team and you want perfection, I'm not telling. I'm not telling you it's perfect. Oh, Goff threw a pick. Yeah, it was actually a really good zone blitz. Sneaky to take your your number one edge and a guy leading the team in sacks and Gardock and drop him into coverage and he flashed and Goff made a mistake. Yeah, but let's not act like it was Will Levis. So I'd like to know where you guys are at with it. I think it stabilized things. It calms things. Now you come home. You're going to face – listen, I will say this. Aiden is having a hell of a year. I'm not knocking him. But this is the most unbelievable streak of facing backup tackles you're ever going to see. Guess what he's going to get to see next week? Backup tackles in Seattle. <laughs> Aiden might have 40 sacks if he faces 17 backup tackles. <laughs> so you're home. You're settled. You're going to have the home field advantage. And then we got to stop the voodoo. Enough with Rico's hero, Geno Smith. We are not allowing this man hey, to come in here and win again. That's my hero. <laughs> Damn Geno Smith. Uh, no, I, here's the thing that I like that the Lions did. And it was the controversial play. It looked as if it was a pick six in the air right before the two-minute warning. It but was. They turned. But what they did was smart, knowing that Arizona's still upset over that. Hey, how about this trick play for a touchdown while you're over there bitching to the refs? 
There you go. Um, Ball it, game. It's something for tomorrow's show, not today. But Rico is hitting upon something. The state of NFL officiating has never been worse. Ever. Yeah. Ever. And I mean, don't even get me started on Chiefs in Atlanta. We'll just leave it for tomorrow. But it is, the, the officiating in this sport is making the sport itself hard to watch. It's brutal. And you're right. There, I mean, missed calls? Uh, please, get a notepad. For, for I love a sport who wants to review more stuff, but all that's doing is is having them miss more things. But, but this is not reviewable. But I, they took that and used it to their advantage. While Arizona is still upset about that, yeah, how about this trick play? And now we're going to go into halftime. And look, here's what we'll do. Rico, if you're okay with it, I mean, I'll leave it open-ended if people want to call about the Tigers. But there's – guys, I mean this, and it's the ultimate compliment I can pay you, is I've been saying for weeks – Fan graphs can go to hell. Your odds are way better. But we've reached mortal lock stage. Like now, I view the Tigers' playoff chances. Now it's a disappointment if they don't close this thing out and I have to, if I have to start Scooble next weekend. Literally. Yeah. There's no drama. As we have been telling you, Kansas City and, and Minnesota, especially, they can't win games. I mean, where we are watching the Voodoo Live as Costa and I are doing the Lions pregame show, and it's NFL games on all the different monitors that beat up. It's one with the Tigers, and Mike, that's what everybody was watching. And we're like, wait. Sa- Saturday afternoon, Rico. Orioles tied at four, bottom nine, second and third, nobody out, and the Tigers got out of that. Yeah. Cue the Godsmack. Yeah, that's or- that's Voodoo. Parker, Parker Meadows goes up, takes home run away, and Look, he, it's, he's keeps a tie. He's a gold glove caliber center fielder, and he's a, he's a weapon, but it's voodoo. Like, let's just be real. It is. Um, but it's also reached mortal lock phase. But we can get to that as a separate topic, but if you're all horned up to talk baseball on a Monday, God bless. I don't care. Rock and roll. We wanted to save some of the college stuff. Because if you get me going on it, I won't stop. It's going to be That's a problem. Safe. We'll say, well, to hell with it. You know what? Maybe I won't be here tomorrow. We could just do you'll, it all you'll, day. You'll be here. Ah, maybe I'll just not show up. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Uh David, the three and and0 Pittsburgh Steelers number one fan, Mister Hatchet. Your thoughts on the Lions? Must be nice to be so privileged. I know. What is it like where your team can't I, score in a whorehouse, but you're three and zero? I don't know. I think we're going to be the third pick of the NFL draft. So. Yeah. See, you're right. I'll take that. Uh, what I won't take is uh, not so good Detroit Lions offense. Oh, um, I'm not impressed with what I saw yesterday. The defense, sure. It's the offense that I have the problem with. You need a trick play. To score? Oh, Scott, David, that was a brilliant hook and ladder. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm that sorry. was brilliant. You should have been down. The fighter today? You should have been down fourteen to thirteen at halftime. That was an interception. They got the ball off before the two minute warning. You would have been losing, and then your offense did nothing in the second half. So if you're losing at halftime, and then your offense does nothing, which has done nothing all year, then you would have lost that game. You should have lost that game. That offense is pathetic right now. David, here's what I'll say. I, I, I cannot agree with you. With, I can't agree with much of what you said. It's your opinion. The only thing that I will say, I had one problem yesterday. On the fourth and one, kick a field goal, go up two scores. It's math, okay? It's not bravado. It's not, oh, that, that was my only, like, no, 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 let's, no, no kick the field goal because one day he may have to make this field goal in real life. If he misses it, <laughs> you still have the lead. But that was my only gripe of that was a mistake. The, the penalty, that's the NFL's fault because that should be reviewable. You're getting worked the two, up. You talk about the two-minute warning. Yeah. yeah. That's the NFL's fault, but I applaud the Lions for taking advantage of it because think about it. If it was the other way around – Detroit probably would have been angry at the refs and not paying attention, and they hit them with the two-piece combo, and nobody saw that play coming. So good for Detroit for taking advantage of a bad situation. Mobile Sometimes golf. You at know the what? end of the game, I, I did text I, that to my friends. Mobile golf deal. season. Here's the deal. From here on out, <laughs> in the prop bet casino, there will be a mobile golf stat. Yes. 
Over under seven and a half rushing yards. Every time he does it, I feel like he's muttering like the Hamburglar F Costa. And he's just like, I, mo- I'm going to seal this game with my feet. <laughs> Mobile Goff. I, because it was the play that no one saw. Three like, games, three critical like, first downs. The defense, the, the court, like, hey, did, is that allowed? Is that fair? David, here's all I'll tell you, right? When I, when you look at and box scores can be misleading. Oh, yes, they can. But well, when you look at this, let's start out with the bread and butter of the Lions defense. You will not run the football on us. James Conner, nine carries for 17 yards. Correct. James Conner's been a menace. You, sh- you just took away the running game. From, from a quarterback standpoint, David, Kyler Murray threw the ball 35 times. He barely had 200 yards passing. That's the defense. And you took it away. Yeah. Now, offensively, here's where I take issue with what you said. You're right in that it wasn't as effective as you'd like. You'd love to get to 30 points. But your quarterback goes 18-23 to 23 for 200 yards, two touchdowns. The one pick, that was a tough moment. That's, a, that's tough. But the running game. David, they averaged damn near five yards a carry for 40 carries. No, that, that's wonderful. The part I have a problem with their offense is other than the overtime game this year, when you went out and scored when you needed to score, when else have they been able to do that this year? And that's my problem because when you come in the NFL, you're going to have to go out there in the middle of a game and have a drive and say, you know, we got we have to score on this drive. They haven't shown me that ability yet this year. Right, but when you're up to – here's here would be my argument, and then we'll get to the people. 248-539-9797. When you're up two scores in an NFL game and your defense is balling, you as a Steeler fan ought to know it's okay to punt, play defense. You want to do this ego stuff like you're on PlayStation. That's just not real. Yes, the offense is going to round into form, but I'm listening to the fearless leader, Dan Campbell. Hold on. I'm listening to Dan Campbell, and all I'm saying to you is, by the bye week, I think this thing will, will we will come out of the bye, and it's going to look right. That's how I feel. People, give me your thoughts. And if, as I said, if you are walking around fully engorged and you want to bring baseball to the mix, go for it. It's a, it's a mortal lock. You're in. Now I'll be disappointed if we got to pitch Scooble this weekend. Why? Because the Twins can't win games. We've been trying to tell you this. Hell, they shouldn't have won Friday night. Did you see that clown car? Mm -hmm. All right. Talk to the people. I'm out of here. I'll see you tomorrow.